Do you want to mod your Minecraft game, but want to use the good old launcher, or feel like an uber-late hacksaw? Well, we've got you covered. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This episode of OMG Craft is brought to you by Man Packs, manly goods on a schedule. Get started today and have underwear, socks, toiletries, shaving supplies, and more delivered to your door. Visit manpacks.com slash twit to get $10 off your first order of $30 or more, or buy a $50 gift card for $40. And welcome to OMG Craft. It's time for business. Minecraft business. Ah. Back a few episodes ago, we showed off a, a tool called Magic Launcher. Magic Launcher was an easy way for you to install mods on your Minecraft game. Now, we've gotten a lot of questions from people asking if we could cover how to install mods manually. And this is great, because even if you're going to use external tools to mod your game, uh, it's good to know sort of a outline of how all of these things work together. So if something breaks when you're using these external tools, you know exactly how it all works. Now, before we get started, let me start off by saying that there are a few different types of mods. There are vanilla mods, which we will be covering in this episode. Then there are other mods that require things to work properly, like Forge or Mod Loader. Forge is a mod API so that the mod doesn't have to write hooks to get into the game. And uh, there's other things like Sky GUI and things like that, which if you're wondering if your mod requires something like that, just go to the forum page or go to the resource where you found your mod, and they will mention things like these uh, external mods if it is required for that to run. Some things to keep in mind when you are getting into the world of modding. First, you now need to worry about keeping your mods up to date. Mods tend to not let you know when they're out of date or new features have been added. So go back to the page that you originally downloaded them from and make sure there aren't any changes. Also, when we're getting into this, you sort of have to understand the structure of how Minecraft runs. Minecraft is a Java platform, so almost everything that runs the game is inside of a Minecraft.com. Jar, which is where Java looks to run the entire game. So we're going to be getting into modding this jar and changing a lot of the class files inside of it. Also, when you're getting into this more and more, you're going to want to keep backups of your Minecraft.jar just in case you screw something up. Remember, if you ever get too deep, you don't understand what you changed and things just are not working, there is a force update button in the options menu of the Minecraft game. That is your friend. You will start over from absolute zero. It will delete everything you have done. So next, we're going to get into mining your game on the Mac and the PC. But first, before we do, man packs. Finding goods and products take time. I need things like underwear, socks, quality face scrub. This face needs lots and lots of scrubbing and natural shaving cream. Finding these things in a on a quality website is very, very difficult. The, the things on manpacks.com are top notch, so I don't have to go searching through other websites to try to find the best product. Every product is the best product on the website. And the website is great. Everything is laid out just in front of you. You have categories on the side so you can easily find exactly what you're looking for. I like Manpax because it is a zero hassle service and they take care of things that I never have time or even the courage to want to do. With Manpax, I get cool new gear every three months. It's like Christmas. 
Here is the thing. We have two exclusive offers for you, the listener of Twit and OMG Craft. So visit manpacks.com slash twit to get $10 off your first order of $30 or more. Or you could buy a gift card for someone else for $50 and that only costs you $40. So go to manpacks.com slash twit and get started today. And we thank Manpax for their support of OMG Craft. Now, let's get into modding your game. The first thing that you're going to do, and I'm going to cover this uh, on the PC side first and then move on to the Mac, is you're going to download the mod that you're going to use. For this episode, for demonstration purposes, we're going to be using Optifine. It's a mod that helps a Minecraft run smoother. When you download the mod off of their website or their service that they host the mod from, it normally comes in as a zip. If you were to open up that zip and look at all the files inside, it's a bunch of class files and sometimes it's a few extra folders. But those class files are what's going to change your Minecraft game. Now, it is time to actually edit the game itself. That is that Minecraft.jar file that I was talking about earlier. You can do this two ways. Either you can edit the files using a tool that will open up the jar but preserve it. So you can look at what's inside, change what's inside, but you're not actually going to unarchive or open up that file and have it dumped somewhere uh, and use a tool like that. That's what we're going to get into first. Second, you can unzip or extract that, that .jar file, which means that you'll have a normal file which you can change things in. If you go that route, which is what we're going to do on the Mac side of things, just keep in mind that you have to keep that folder named Minecraft.jar. That .jar has to be in the name. So first, on Windows side, uh, we have the mod uh, with us right now. So we're going to go ahead and navigate to the Minecraft.jar file. We're going to click the Windows button, then type percent app data percent, and that will open up the roaming app data file. Uh, inside of this folder, there is a .minecraft folder. Go ahead and double click on that. Then navigate your way over to the bin folder. Once inside the bin folder, there is your minecraft.jar. I recommend a product called 7-Zip. It's absolutely free, and this allows you to preserve that .jar file without any hassle. Go ahead and open that up and look at that. There are all the class files that you need to change in order to mod your game. Select all the files from the mod that you're going to be installing into Minecraft and drag them onto the Minecraft.jar that you have opened up. This will ask you if you want to replace files, and yes, you do, because you are modding the game of Minecraft. Now, one more thing that you have to do is delete the folder that is named meta.inf. Inside of this folder is a checksum that validates the rest of the game to make sure that nothing has been changed. And of course, we just changed the game. So by deleting this file, it will skip that check and everything will be just handy dandy done. Once all of those files are in place, go ahead and close out of this window and launch the game like normal. Everything should be just fine. Now, if you're installing multiple mods or a mod doesn't work, we're going to get into some troubleshooting tips at the end of the episode. So that's what you do to modify your game on the PC. Now, let's do it on the Mac side of things, which is the computer I have in front of me. So we're showing off Optifine here. I'm going to double click just like I did on the PC site. Here are all of those class files. Now, to get to your Minecraft.jar on the Mac, you're going to go to the Finder. You're going to go to Go, and your library folder is hidden by default. So you're going to go to this menu at the top, hit Go, and hold down the Option key, and like magic, your library folder will appear. You're going to click that, then go into Application Support, which is at the top, then your Minecraft folder. You can tell that I've already navigated there a few times. So then the, the Minecraft folder, and once again inside of bin. Now you are going to have this Minecraft.jar. I'm going to quit the game behind here. This, uh, the easiest way to get into this file is to rename this Minecraft.jar.zip. It's going to ask me these things. I'm going to hit OK, and it will 
turn that file into a zipped file. Now just using the normal unarchiver that is built into Mac OS X, we're just going to open that up and we have a file and it is a folder and it is named appropriately minecraft.jar. Here are all of those class files just like on the PC side of things. Then we're going to go to our mod that we downloaded earlier, select everything and drag it into the minecraft.jar folder. It's going to ask if we would like to replace and yes we do, replace them all. And now we have a modded game. And then also remember that you have to delete that meta.imp file, otherwise uh, Minecraft is going to check to see if it has uh, been tampered with. And yes, of course, it has, because you just modded your Minecraft game. Now, one thing that is different on the Mac side of things is that when you are inside of Minecraft and you have a problem, if you're going to do the force update button, this will not work with a folder because Minecraft looks for a jar file when it updates and this is a folder. So if you're having problems, just delete that folder entirely off your system and click the force update button and it will download a clean version of the game. And here we are in a working version of Minecraft. But also remember that when you click that button, all of your mods are deleted. They are gone. So you have lost any, up, any uh, progress that you have made in modding your game. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you would like to subscribe to our future episodes, you can do so by going to youtube.com slash OMG Craft or searching for OMG Craft in iTunes. Until next time, we will see you then.